one hadith comes to mind a beautiful hadith documented by Imam Muslim rahmatullahi alayhi in his sahih in his collection Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that yub'athu kullu abdin ala ma mata alayhi every single servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is re- will be resurrected on the day of judgment you see we have to stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will all, we have to pass away we will die we will be buried in the grave six feet under soil will be poured over us and when the time is right we will be taken out of our graves and Rasulullah sallallahu is telling us on the day of judgment يُبْعَثُ كُلُّ عَبْدٍ عَلَى مَا مَاتَ عَلَيْهِ that every single servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be resurrected in the way, in the manner that he passed away, that he died if you understand a person passed away, he died in a haram state this is the way he will be resurrected he passed away smoking weed drinking alcohol in the midst of zina stealing and all sorts of menace to society he died in this state Rasulullah is saying that he will be resurrected in this way and on the other hand we have a person who passes away reciting Quran a person reciting tasbih being in good company listening to hadith listening to Quran being in good company being with the sulaha being with the with the ulama being with the the shuyukh, the pious individuals boosting our energy when it comes to our iman passing away allah taking our ruh away when we are performing umrah when we are performing hajj imagine this performing salah a person is performing salah he is in ruku' he is in sujood allah takes his ruh away Allah commands Malakul Maut to take his ruh away. Rasulullah is saying that that individual who passes away in that state, then he will be resurrected in the same manner on the day of judgment. Imagine this. So we have to do good at all times, abstain from evil as much as possible. Our death can come at any time, any time. And that's why we pray for our brother, Brother Farooq. His, bro- his father died two days ago. Subhanallah, Haji Iftikar Sahib Rahmatullah Alayhi He was in the Masjid, Masjid Usman Ashfield Road Masjid He prayed Salah, he was totally fine This is a local brother, our brother Farooq MashaAllah, front sub every single Salah, MashaAllah His father, he went for Salah He went for Salah in Masjid Usman He prayed the Salah, everything was fine He's walking out of the Masjid He's walking out of the masjid, he felt some pain within him, some chest pain. He told his friends that, look, I'm feeling this. They took him back inside from the passage, took him back inside the masjid. Within a few moments, he passed away. A a death to to die for, a death to wish for. Well, you think he got that out of the blue? You think he got that out of a coincidence? No. This was destined for him due to his behavior when he came to Islam, when he came to his approach, his dedication to Islam, his dedication to Salah, his dedication when it comes to deen of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying is that person is the, the biggest fool. Well, Ajizu, the biggest fool is that individual. When the Imam says this or person who says it in your family, your mother or your father or someone elder than you, you might think, oh, look at this guy, he's being harsh. Or he's the Imam, he's singing on the church. I am not saying this. These are the words of Rasulullah Sallallahu He says that the biggest fool, unsuccessful individual, and like in Urdu we'll say Pagal, a Pagal person is he who does all sorts of haram. All so- the, you name the haram. You name the haram on the list. He does all, all, of, the, all of these haram, abstaining from the rahmah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And whilst doing this, in the midst of doing these haram, you know, one person does haram, but he, he says to himself, you know, I'm a weak person, I will ask for forgiveness. It's wrong what I'm doing. Kullu bani Adam khatta. We keep mentioning this hadith. We are all sinners. Wa khayru al-khatta'ina tawabun. And the best of sinners are those who repent. So we will all do bad things, of course. But instead of having this guilt within us, feeling bad, he does not feel bad at all. 
He does all sorts of haram that you can think of. And guess what after that? وَتَمَنَّا عَلَى Allah. وَتَمَنَّا عَلَى Allah. He builds high hopes in Allah. He builds high hopes in Allah. Meaning Allah will forgive me. I'm smoking weed but Allah will forgive me. I don't pray salah, don't worry Allah will forgive me. I need to go for hajj this year, hajj is for us, but don't worry Allah will forgive me. I know it's Ramadan, I'm supposed to be fasting, but guess what? Allah will forgive me. Rasulullah is saying, not me. He is the biggest fool, this person. So anyway, we were saying that this is a, a death to die for, to wish for, that we die in this state. That we die when we are in the masjid, we die when we are in the... Uh, when we are in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Performing Umrah in the state of Ihram In Hajj, in Umrah Reading the Quran Reciting the Quran and we pass away So anyway, I was saying May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Forgive the father of our friend Our local brother Brother, brother Farooq, mashallah He gives me a lot of help as well When there's any program, event He's always there helping He's always at the forefront, mashallah Helping out May Allah forgive his father May Allah give him Jannah to Firdaus May Allah make his his grave, a garden from the gardens of Jannah and protect it from being a pit from the pits of Jahannam and similarly all those brothers and sisters all those brothers and sisters in the Ummah the closer the person is, we feel more hurt so any brother and sister who has lost someone in the community brothers who are sitting here who has lost a brother, who has lost a mother, who has lost a father friend, may Allah forgive all those and grant them Jannah al Firdaus and give them the highest level and, and status in paradise insha'Allah ta'ala Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik